Oh, didn't see you there. Welcome to this week's rendition of Quarantine Kitchen. I'm your host, Chef Boyard Louie, and today I'll be trying to make an, I forgot what it's called, herb crusted rack of lamb. I'm attempting to follow a recipe by Gordon Ramsay, and I'm pretty sure I'll butcher it. You got it? You okay? Because, my bad. Okay. But anyways, that's what I'm going to be trying today. Let's see how it goes. And yeah, let's get started. All right, so we're going to get started by um, seeing what this rack of lamb even looks like. Pretending like I didn't buy this, you know. You got the motion sensor trash can. You can't see that, but I ain't got to touch it. So that's sanitary. Okay, so I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're going to start by uh, scoring this fat. Not like a soccer game, not like basketball, no. Cross hatching on the fat. You want to make sure uh, you don't go too deep and cut into the actual lamb. Just kind of want to cut through the surface, the fat surface. Helps the fat render out better and gives it a better cook. And it just, it just looks better. Yeah, that's wrong. Do y'all see that cross hatching action? I actually don't know if y'all can see that. Probably not. Okay. Next, we're going to season it generously. Keep it simple. Salt and pepper is all we need at this moment. Now, if you guys are saying that's too much salt, you're wrong. When you make it, you could put less salt. Me? Mm -mm. This is my recipe. This is my video. Saint your house. All right. You gotta make sure you get the sides too. You know what I completely forgot? So I forgot to clean the riblets. That's a little meat right here between the bones. And I'm debating whether I even want to do it or not. I'm gonna ask my, uh, I'm gonna phone a friend real quick. Hollison? Yeah. What do you think? All right, so we're gonna attempt to clean it up and it might go horribly. Who cares? It's, it's fine. This is how we learn, okay? You mess up, you make mistakes, you learn, you grow, you evolve. In the words of the great Miss Frizzle, take chances, make mistakes, and get messy. Shouts out to Miss Grizzle. Frizzle? You know who Miss Grizzle is? You ain't never seen the magic school bus? Miss Frizzle. Oh, it's Frizzle? Hey, rewind that back. <laughs> Cut the tape. Knife. Miss Frizzle. Okay. Back to the lab. So we're going to attempt to clean this up, and it might go horribly. Most likely it will. Nah, baby, I don't think I'm going to do it. Such a turn of events. Who would have seen this coming? Next time, we'll just ask for one that's already been cleaned for us for today. Today, we're going to leave it. Apologies to the viewers who I misled into thinking I was going to clean it up. We're not doing that today. So next, let's move this to the side. Let this sit. Okay, so now it's already seasoned, salted, peppered, scored. The oven is already at 400 degrees. You got to preheat. It's key to success right there. Can't have the oven beeping through this video. Mm -mm, not having that. But now we're going to move on to the crust. 
crust consists of herbs and bread. That's about it. A little bit of olive oil. Oh, and some Parmigiano Reggiano. We don't use none of that cheap stuff around here. Straight from Italy, like my car. My 2008 Dodge Charger. <laughs> Nine. 2009. Straight from Italy. Bet you didn't know that. Yo mama and your cousin too. Going out uh oh. Uh, uh. Okay. So as you see, wiped off the salt and pepper. And if you noticed earlier, I had that little cooling rack. No crush no 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 um, do, 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 do. No cross contamination. Nanemanemanemony. It's an anemone. An anemanemanemony. Shout out to Nemo. No cross contamination in. I can't say it. I'm having some technical difficulties here. No cross contamination in this household. Third time's the charm. So now we're going to chop our herbs. We have. Today I got time, baby. Today I got time. Then we have a, uh, I forgot what we have. This isn't even time. We're gonna start with um, a sprig. That's a scientific term right there. It's a sprig of parsley. Looking for one that I like. Just one, that's all we need, just one. We're gonna have our rosemary as well. And last but not least, best believe, today I got time. You know, last time you came up to me talking all foul, Hollison, I had time for that. But today, I got time. The recipe doesn't call for it, but I love me some garlic, all right? There's nothing you can put garlic on that it won't make better. And I put garlic on everything. It makes everything better. Garlic on my steak. Garlic on this lamb I'm making. Never had alligator, but I'm pretty sure I'd make that with garlic. I put garlic in my honey bunches of oats in the morning. It makes everything better, baby. Can't go wrong with garlic. So what you want to do is uh, you put it down, play the knife on it, and then that's it. <laughs> go ahead and peel this. It's, I think it landed in the trash. All right, so now we just go go ahead and chop all this together. It's all gonna get mixed anyways. This is just a fine chop. Not to be confused with Young Chop. Shouts out to Young Chop. What you want to do is you fold it, bunch it together, hold it down, and guide with your knuckle. Finger knuckle, that is. Not this knuckle. And now I have to tell you that honestly, this chopping up is all for show because this is all going in the blender. I just thought it would look nice. I like using the knife. How can I forget the Parmigiano Reggiano straight from Italia? I haven't even opened it. All right, just give this a, a fine chop. Like I said, this is all going in the blender anyways. This is just for show, guys. Play job. Look at Hollison looking all scared for my fingers off camera. You scared, huh? You worried? You worried about my hands? Yeah. It's a lot of cheese. I'm sure there's at least a... Forgot to mention I'm going for a quarter cup. I'm pretty sure we got a quarter cup right there. 
All right, so now that we have this all prepped, go ahead and sear this lamb. Just get some color on the outside, some browning, and then after that, we'll throw it into the oven. So, and uh, while the lamb is in the oven, we'll go ahead and start working on our crust and blend all this combined with our breadcrumbs. Let's get it. We have the hot pan going, olive oil already in here. We got the rack lamb right here. And what we want to do now is just get a quick sear to each of the sides. Don't want to cook it, you just want to sear the outside. You're going to cook it in the oven. So, let's go. Hey, it smells good already. Make sure to get every side. All right, go ahead and remove that. Next, we're gonna throw this in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and work on our herb crust. Got about a cup of breadcrumbs. A little bit of that. Bow. These are all the herbs and garlic we chopped over there earlier in the video. A little bit of that. That's what my jump shot sounds like when it goes in. About a fourth of a cup of Parmigiano Reggiano Parmigiano. And of course, you can't forget a squeak of olive oil. Just a little bit. You don't want it to get soggy. So, if this goes correctly, this should look some type of green, so we better find out together. As you see, it is not green. I have failed. I will now stop making this video. But for real, we're just going to add more greens and hope that the greens make it turn green. Because that sounds... That's, that adds up in my head. I'm back with more greens. Little bouquet, throw it back. Just throw those in, see what happens. Second attempt. Right. Ooh, this is a side. So the camera can see a little bit. What our finished product looks like. Okay, okay. Looking a little greener after the third try. And there we have it, folks. That will be the crust for our rack of lamb, which I'm just about ready to get out of the oven. All right, so here's our lamb, fresh out the oven. We're actually gonna put it back in the oven after this, but off camera, I made up some butter, chopped some garlic in there, melted some butter, threw some chopped garlic in there and just a little easy garlic butter. We have our herb crust that we just saw made. And now we're gonna go ahead and, uh, I don't have a brush, so you gotta work with what you got. We're just gonna spoon it over. Go ahead and coat this. Then we'll go ahead and dip it in the, uh, the breadcrumb herb mix we got over here. And then we'll actually be throwing it back in the oven for another four to five minutes. Look at that. You see that? About to spill everywhere. It's amazing. I love it. I just want to take a bath in there. It's garlic and butter. I probably should have had like a bowl under here. Enough of that. Yeah. Go ahead and give it a little dip. It's tragic. Just, just coat it, you know? 
coding crazy. I'm going coding crazy. Coding. Put it back on this rack. Y'all see that? Y'all see all that herb goodness? The 17 different herbs and spices, secret herbs and spices. Now we'll go ahead and take this, put it back in the oven for another four to five minutes, and then it's time to eat. All right, so we're back. Lamps out the oven, onto the cutting board. We actually had to alter our cooking time. Wasn't really browning enough for our liking. You can see the little browning going on. We ended up going with 18 minutes, I believe. So yeah, but ultimately it's to your taste. Some people want it rare, medium rare, well done. Us, we kind of just went by the crust. So let's see how it turned out. Let's just go ahead and slice it into this thing. Oh, awesome. It's important to let it rest. We already did that. That's movie magic for you. Was that bone? Mm hmm It was bone. Looks good to me. Look good to me. Look good to you? Does it look good to y'all? Mm. Let's give it a nice little rotation. There we go. Herb crusted, rack of lamb, a la chef, boy our Louis. Okay, so here we have our six herb crusted lamb chops. All that's left is to plate these bad boys up, have a side of mashed potatoes and some greens. And now it's time for me and Hollison to eat. Happy anniversary, Hollison. And thank you for joining me for Quarantine Kitchen. I'm out.